Today, we're looking at the high ball catch, particularly with young children. This is Eka, she's six years old. She's gonna be our high ball catcher today. We're trying to get out of the habit of catching with the fingers and hands. In other sports, such as netball, this is perfectly fine. But when we're catching a rugby high ball, the safest way to catch it is on your chest with your elbows to the ground, stopping it from slipping through. Let's have a look how we can train this. We're gonna use balloons. The reason why we're using balloons instead of rugby balls is they float. We're gonna start with getting Eka to catch the balloon when I throw it to her in between both elbows. By using a balloon, the children aren't scared of it. Catching with your elbows naturally causes you to come close and catch it with your elbows and on your chest. We can switch over to a smaller balloon. A smaller balloon will obviously drop faster. We're building confidence. The children are repeating how to use their elbows and chest to safely take a high ball. We've progressed from big balloon to little balloon to now to some sort of soft ball. What it means is you can take away just the elbows and you get children starting to catch it on their chest like they're taking a high ball. Having had fun with the balloon and learnt the techniques, children are far more confident when we introduce a bigger ball. They're more likely to bring their elbows together and catch on their chest, which is a very safe way to catch a high ball. Catching a high ball is a great skill to master with. Basic fundamentals is where it all starts. We have catching the high ball covered with international expertise. Wayne Smith runs us through some great drills on how to receive and contest your own high ball. Lee Halfpenny shows us how he gets airtime to help him defuse a ball. Restarts are covered as well with Ross Felipe. The high ball is covered right here on the rugby show. High ball is full on.